I used to be a hardcore minimalist when it came to what I carried inside of my ditty bag on long distance hikes. Pretty much the bare essentials of what I would need as far as toiletries and electronics. Maybe a little ibuprofen, uh, maybe a small repair kit, definitely a toothbrush and some extra batteries for my camera. Now, if you don't know what a ditty bag is, it's essentially a catch-all bag that most backpackers and hikers will carry uh, on the outside of their pack or the top of their pack that houses things like their toiletries, uh, their first aid, extra electronics, and anything that they want quick access to throughout the day and at camp. Like I said, I used to carry pretty much the bare essentials, but over the last year, especially of a lot of shorter backpacking trips, uh, section hikes, and some international traveling, uh, going to different countries and traveling abroad, not only camping and staying in tents, but also just staying in tea houses and hostels, I've added a little bit more to my ditty bag as far as what I carry to keep me comfortable. So today I figured I would break open my ditty bag from my recent trip that I took to Nepal to do a 10 day hike through the Himalayas and show you what I'm carrying these days. Uh, what I have as far as my electronics, as far as my toiletries and a couple extra items that I like to quick access on my trips. So first off is the bag itself, the same bag that I've been using for the last couple of years. This is the Hilltop Packs Eco Pack Medium Long Ditty Bag. So it's made out of this nice Eco Pack, which I think is recycled plastic water bottles. And I go for the medium long specifically because if I happen to pick up some extra items on my hike or my travels, uh, I have enough room to still be able to roll down and it's not kind of pushing out the sides. So this is a custom printed ditty bag. I think you can kind of get whatever you want printed on their bags, but let's start with what I have inside of my bag. So first off is something that I've always carried on my hikes and most hikers and backpackers are gonna carry and that's a battery bank. So I kind of swap between two different battery banks. I either use my Anchor PowerCore PD 20,000 milliamp, or I will carry my Anchor 10,000 PD, depending on what trip that I'm doing. So that was in there for Nepal. Next up, I have my bag of cords and other electronics. So in that bag, and as you can see, I've been using the same bag for years. Just an old plastic, kind of thicker Ziploc bag. Honestly, can't even remember where I got it. But the first thing that I want quick access to in my ditty bag is gonna be my headlamp. So this is the Nightcore NU25 headlamp. And this is the original one that still uses the USB-C micro. So uh, that's pretty quick access item. That's the first thing in that electronics bag. Next up is going to be my charging block. Now I've used a lot of different charging blocks over the years. I used to use a RAV power block for years. It was the same exact one, but recently I picked up this new block that is called a Moken or Mocken. It's super compact. It has two USB-C PD plugs that are 20 watts a piece. So I can quickly charge things when I'm in town or uh, resupplying or staying at a tea house or a hostel. Um, it does have foldable prongs, so they're not always sticking out. They kind of pop back in. And because it's 220 watts, that means that if I just want to charge one thing, like my battery bank, I can plug it up and charge it with 40 watts so I can uh, charge these things pretty quick on the go. I've really dug this thing. This is something that's kind of new to my kit and something I added uh, probably about three months ago. And um, yeah, this has been my favorite wall plug that I've used for my travels. Uh, next up is going to be some various cords. So I have a regular USB-C PD cable. So it's USB-C on both sides. However, I do have this small USB-C micro plug adapter that I can put on the end of that. And then the only thing that I use that for is my headlamp. Now, I know there is a new version of this that uses USB-C, but I'm not a big fan of it. 
So I still opt to use the old version and uh, use the micro USB-C. Uh, next up is a new cord that I recently picked up. It's a uh, Shezzy, um, another USB-C PD cord that is actually a flat wound cord. So it's nice and flat. And then the ends actually have built in adapters. So overall, the cord is USB-C to USB-C. And then on this side, it has a lightning plug so I can charge up my phone. And on this side, it has a regular, I think it's USB-A plug. So this cable has been really awesome. It's nice and lightweight. It's a, uh, delivers power pretty quickly and really nice that it has those little adapters on it. And then the last things that I keep inside of this little bag are gonna be an extra camera battery for my camera. So obviously I'm gonna have one on my camera, an extra one in the bag. I have a little Apple um, SD card reader, -er, and then this little itty bitty rocket blower. Um, if you don't know what a rocket blower is, it's basically to blow off your lens or your sensor or something on your camera. I honestly have no clue where this came from. I've had it for years, um, but yeah, just a little, I don't know if you can hear that, um, little bitty rocket blower that I keep in my electronics bag. Uh, the next little bag that I keep, same thing, thick, plastic, old, I mean, I've had this forever, is gonna be my toiletries and repair kit. This hasn't really changed much over the years. I pretty much always carry the exact same stuff, but uh, to kind of break it open real quick, I can tell you the first thing that I have is my toothbrush. Uh, I don't believe in the whole cutting the handle off a toothbrush thing. I think it's kind of stupid. Um, the whole holding the little toothbrush thing is kind of goofy to me. So uh, a toothbrush. And then recently over the last year, I switched to using toothpaste tablets because for my trip, if I know that I'm gonna be somewhere for 10 days or out on the trail for three days, I can bring the exact amount of toothpaste tablets that I want. They're light, they're easy to use, and I don't have a, a bigger bottle that I'm carrying around and carrying toothpaste that I am not gonna use. Uh, and these are the charcoal activated tablets. I like charcoal toothpaste because I like my teeth to look black and gross. Um, so toothpaste tablets. Next up inside of here are gonna be some various uh, pills and I guess medication, if you will. Um, because I was recently in Nepal and at super high elevation, I was up at 18,700 feet. I do have some elevation sickness tablets. Now I've been to Nepal twice and I have yet to take these. I haven't had to take them luckily, uh, but these are something that I carry with me just in case I'm gonna get elevation sickness. So I keep that in there. And then I also have a little bag of random pills. So in here right now, there is some Cipro. So if you don't know what Cipro is, it's really good for um, if you were to get Giardia or if you were to eat some bad food and get food poisoning, I carry Cipro in there. Uh, I think there's a couple Tylenol in here and some good old vitamin I, some ibuprofen. So these little bags, I actually get these from a Walgreens, I believe. Um, it's just a little pack of pill bags that I've been picking up and then dividing up my pills inside of them. I really like organization within my, uh, my little bag. Next up in here is going to be a random little bag that has some, uh, some band-aids, some regular old band-aids. I have some rubber bands because in case I got to rubber band something or fix it. And yes, I have had to randomly do that. And then the other things that are in here are two random patches. I carry those in case I do get a hole in a jacket or something and have to repair it in the field. I think I picked those up on the CDT years ago and I've never really used them, luckily. Let's see, what else do I have in here? Oh, something that I have carried in basically all of my ditty bags, which is this little bitty another pouch um, that is full of a bunch of repair items. So inside of here, I have things like patches. I do use an inflatable sleeping pad. So I carry those little Thermarest patches. I carry a roll of DCF tape um, in case I were to get a hole in my tent or anything else that I have DCF. I think that came with my tent when I bought it. Uh, and I also carry a little bitty um, sewing kit. 
a little bag that has a couple sewing needles that are stuck into an old eraser and a little bit of thread. That way, in case I have to uh, sew something up in the field, which I've had to do quite a handful of times over the last couple years, I have that. And the last little secret thing that I carry in there is a little bitty O-ring for my stove. So I use the BRS 3000 stove and it's got a little ring on the bottom and they used to, I don't know if they still do, come with a little extra O-ring. So I do keep that in there. So basically any type of little repair item I have in this bag um, along with some Luco tape. I don't leave home without Luco tape. I live by this stuff. Next up in my bag are a couple little things of bug spray um, or what I like to use, which is bug lotion. So I use the Sawyer Picaridin lotion. Uh, this stuff is amazing and it's nice because, uh, you know, it fights against Zika, West Nile virus, uh, dengue fever. And you're like, Zika, dengue fever, like out on a long distance trail? No, but I have done a lot of traveling in Fiji, Nepal, Ecuador in places where that is a very real thing. So I started carrying that Sawyer Picaridin. I love this stuff, the lotion smells really good too. And last but not least, the three last items inside of my little bag are gonna be a thing of headphones because if I'm staying in a hostel, even if I'm out on the AT and I'm staying in like a shelter, I wanna make sure I don't hear other people snoring. So I carry a little thing of headphones this little bitty Visine bottle full of Dr. Bronner soap. You can tell I'm pretty low. I mean, we'll just kind of put a couple little drops in my hands and wash them, whether I'm out on a trail or again, I'm traveling. And then the last thing is my little pocket knife. Um, it has everything that I need. It has a little bitty blade on it. That's everything I've ever needed on the trail. A uh, little nail file because in case I want to file my nails, I guess. The most important thing to me, which is a pair of scissors. And then obviously it has your little classic pair of tweezers and a little toothpick if I need that. So that's pretty much all I keep in that toiletries and first aid bag. And then the last two items that I carry in my ditty bag at the very bottom are number one, my little cork massage ball by Rology. I love this thing. I've been carrying it now since 2019. If I just need to roll out my muscles, this thing is tiny, it doesn't weigh anything, and I'm able to use it whenever I need to. As you can tell, it's pretty dirty because I rolled around a lot in the dirt trying to grind out my feet um, if they're hurting at the end of the day. Uh, but a little bit of on-trail recovery or on-trip recovery. And then the last thing is actually something new that I started picking up. And this is the Mont Bell UL Mono pouch. Uh, this is the medium size. So as you can see, this thing is tiny. And what it is, is it's actually a small little side satchel bag. It has a zipper on the top of it. And then it is adjustable. So I have this little side bag that I can kind of throw on. It's a purse. It's my little travel purse. <laughs> um, I have that so I can, if I'm in a town or if I'm staying in a hostel or a tea house or something like that, like I just was in Nepal, and I wanna leave all my stuff in the room, I don't wanna carry my pack with me, but I do want to, uh, you know, have something to hold my stuff, because usually I'm wearing shorts, usually I'm wearing like just a down jacket. So in order to carry my extra stuff, this has become an awesome, little accessory. The nice thing is, is it folds down into its own little pouch so it doesn't take up any room. And this entire bag only weighs one ounce. So the convenience that I'm able to get from this and use it, um, which I actually used it quite a bit when I was in Nepal, is definitely worth carrying just an ounce. And that's about it. That's pretty much everything that I keep inside my ditty bag. Um, some other things that I might throw in there are because I was just in Nepal and traveling to another country, I'll carry an adapter. So this is the adapter that I was using in Nepal. So I usually take my little Moken block, I'll plug that in there and boom, I got a charger so I can still charge all my electronics. 
my camera, my phone, anything else that I'm carrying. Um, I might throw an extra camera battery in there or some extra little electronics. And then every once in a while, instead of carrying it on the outside of my pack, uh, I'll carry my trowel and my bidet inside of here as well. So that's why I like the medium long bag because I can put extra stuff in there and really fill it up if I have to. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick little run through of kind of what I'm carrying in my Diddy bag. I, it's kind of, I don't know, I think the Diddy bag and the gear that you carry in it is kind of the un, unsung hero of the adventure gear kit. Uh, whether you're backpacking or bike packing or doing world travel, I feel like not enough people talk about the greatness of their Diddy bag. It's something that we use every single day on a hike or backpacking trip. Um, I keep mine on my outside pocket of my pack so I can easily grab it to grab an extra battery for my camera or easily grab it if I feel like my, uh, my teeth are funky and I need to brush my teeth. I easily grab it to be able to grab my headlamp if it's starting to get dark or anything else I need quick access to. Uh, it's right on the outside of my pack ready to go. Uh, speaking of that, what do you carry inside of your ditty bag? Is yours pretty similar? Is there anything that you didn't see in my ditty bag that maybe you carry in yours? Leave something down below and let us know your thoughts. Uh, I'm always interested in what people carry in their ditty bag. Some people carry more, some people carry less, but this is what I carry. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're taking care of each other. Uh, I hope you're taking care of yourself. And I love you guys as always. Thanks for watching.